Hi everybody, I'm Katya. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to show you some gentle Pilates based exercises that you can use to help strengthen your lower back and release any tension and prevent back pain. Okay, if you have a specific back condition, then please speak to your healthcare professional first and just find out if there are any specific movements that you need to be careful of or that you might need to avoid. Okay, so as always, listen to your bodies, any sharp or shooting pain, back off, take great care of yourselves. Okay, we're going to begin. So lie yourself down onto your backs. Now I have a blanket for my head to rest on, so you're very welcome to use something under your head, a cushion or a towel or a blanket. Lying down on your backs, having your legs bent with your feet about hip distance apart. Now, before we just start moving, we're going to just take a moment to really relax into this position. So just notice where can you let go of any more tension. Feel that the right side and left side of your body are equally resting on the ground. Yeah, sometimes we lean a little bit to one side more than the other. So just check that you're as straight as possible from here. Holding on to your forearms between your wrists and elbows. We're going to draw a circle with our elbows all around your head. Taking the arms all the way back, over to the other side. Your head may turn so that your arms can pass. Now let's add our breathing. We inhale. And then exhaling. Starting to breathe deeply in and out. Not forcing your breathing, keeping it it's soft and gentle, but definitely being very mindful that you're not holding your breath at any time. Now we'll change our hands and go the other direction. So whilst we're moving the arms, we're really allowing the lower back a moment to just relax into the ground. If you're experiencing lower back pain, a high chance that the muscles are tight they're trying to protect the area so we'll just give the back a moment to just relax the ground is supporting you great now relax your arms and rest your hands down onto your lower belly so the fingertips pointing down towards your pubic bone we're going to inhale here and then as you exhale, we're going to draw the abdominals down and start to very gently curl the tailbone off the floor. You feel your lower back imprinting into the ground. Inhale, releasing the tailbone back down. Exhale, lower abdominals engage. So in this short class, we're going to do some exercises that will focus on strengthening the muscles that will help stabilize your lower back and give it support. And then we'll do some movements that will focus on mobilizing and stretching out tight areas that can get very tense and tight. Inhale, releasing the tail down. Exhale. So these are tiny pelvic curves. We're gently mobilizing through the lower back but we're also connecting with our deep tummy muscles that we need to use to help us stabilize when we're walking so we have that lovely support from those deep layers of tummy muscles. Last time. And then releasing back down. So finding that relaxed position, which is a neutral position. So most likely there's a very tiny gap under your lower back. Okay, you don't need to do anything, you just let your back relax and that's your neutral position. Now reaching your arms down beside you, inhale, exhale. If your mat allows you, slide your leg down. Same arm for the same side reaches back. Now we're using the tummy to stabilize the pelvis and the lower back. Inhale, toes up. Exhale, slide your foot in. If your mat is very sticky like my mat is, you then lift your foot in, inhale, exhale, slide the other arm and leg away, reaching away, 
We're using the tummy muscles to keep the pelvis nice and still. Inhale, toes up, peel away. Exhale, bring everything back in. Inhale, repeat. Exhale, arm and leg on the same side. Reach it out, heel away, toes up. Exhale, bring everything back in. Breathe in, breathe out, sliding away, stretch out long. Toes up, heel away. Exhale, bring it back in. Breathing in. Now we'll do opposite arm and leg, stretching, cross pattern. Again, toes up, reach. Here, careful not to arch your lower back. And everything comes back. Foot and hand arrive together. Inhale. Exhale, other side, sliding out. Inhale, toes up, peel away. Exhale, come back. Last two, inhale. Exhale, reaching out. Draw the abdominals nice and flat. Toes up. Exhale, tummy muscles first. Bend your knee, drag your foot in, arm comes down. Inhale. Exhale, other arm and leg. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, bring everything in. Good, great. Inhaling here. Now we're changing on the exhale. Can you stabilize the pelvis and the lower back? Float your right leg slowly up. Now inhale, catch your thigh or your shin and now hug the knee in towards you. And here you feel your lower back will now imprint into the ground. Then we let go of the leg, we come back to that neutral position and then slowly with control from your abdominals, lower your foot down. Inhale, exhale, abdominals going to stabilize the pelvis, try not to wobble, pick up your left leg. Your leg is very light, it's like you have no muscles on your leg. Catch your shin or your thigh, draw your knee in towards you. Here you feel your lower back imprinting. Release your knee over your hip joint. Place your foot slowly down. Let's go again, inhale. Exhale, right leg up. Inhale, catch the leg. Exhale, draw your knee in towards you. Inhale, knee over the hip. Exhale, lower down. Inhale. Exhale, left leg comes up. Beautiful support from your deep abdominals. Hands around your thigh or shin. Squeeze your leg in towards you. Keep your shoulders down. Release your knee away and slowly place it down. One more each side, inhale. Exhale, right leg up. Hands around the shin. Draw the knee in. Now this time we're gonna stay just a little bit longer. Extend your bottom leg all the way down along the mat. Now feel the opposition. One knee is squeezing in towards you. The other leg is reaching away. So you'll find it at length across the front of your hips. One more inhale. Exhale. Slide the bottom foot back in so your leg is bent and then slowly let go of the top leg and place your leg back down. Breathe in. Breathe out, pick up the other leg. Catch it, draw it in and extend your bottom leg away. Reach it straight forwards. Again, feel the oppositions. One leg reaching away, one knee tucking in tight. And then slide your bottom foot in first. Let go of the top leg and lower your foot down. Very good. Bringing your knees now together. Squeeze your feet, knees, inner thighs together. Open your arms to the side. Breathe in here. Breathe out. Take your knees to the side. Keeping your feet squeezed together, keeping your knees together. Now here goes slowly. Listen to how this feels for your back. Some of you might find just a small movement is enough. Some of you really like this, feels good for your back. You can take your knees quite far. Inhale, exhale from your abdominals. Help drag the hips back, knees follow, and then tip your knees over to the other side. 
Yeah, so it can be a smaller, medium, or you're going right across. Inhale. Exhale, abdominals initiate the movement, bring yourself back, over to the side, inhale, exhale, tummy, knees follow, knees continue over to the other side, relax your shoulders and the chest, breathe in, last two times, over to your first side, now I'm turning my head gently, the opposite way this feels good on my neck you can also keep your head just in one position nice and still inhale and then bring your knees up towards the sky now we'll just keep that gentle engagement of squeezing the legs together your pelvis again is nice and relaxed you're in your neutral position now bring your hands interlace your fingers and wrap your hands around the back of your head. Inhale here. Exhale. Again, we're going to flatten the tummy muscles. Slowly curl the head and chest forward. Simple abdominal curls or chest lifts. Inhale, lower down. Exhale. Flattening the abdominals. Curling forwards. Good. Now make sure you're not tucking your pelvis. So no gripping of your, your hip flexors. Relax the pelvis and just feel the abdominals are flattening. Inhale, lower. Let's go for five more. Exhale, curve. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. And lower all the way down. Release your arms down beside your body and just rock your head gently side to side. From here, we're going to roll onto our side. So always take care how you get up. Use your arms, push yourself all the way up and come all the way around onto your hands and knees. Good. Now I'm going to take my blanket and place it underneath me. In a moment, I will use it here to support my lower back when we're lying down. So come forwards onto your hands and knees. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Now we'll start to move the back just a little bit more. Inhale, look up, forwards. Now you are arching your back, but you're not hanging down. You're pushing the floor away. And even so you're in this extension, you can still draw your tummy in a little bit. Breathe in. And then breathe out, curl the tail under round on your spine into that beautiful C curve. Inhale, lengthening, looking out forwards. Exhale, curl the tail under. The whole spine is following. Head releases forwards and down. Inhale, rolling through the spine, pushing the flow away, arms are strong. Exhale, round on your spine. One more, please. Inhale, lengthening. So your abdominals are still gently engaged here. You're not hanging into your lower back. Exhale, round on your spine. And then finding your neutral position. It's a little bit harder now we're not lying on our backs. So the same natural curves through your spine. Now keeping the abdominals supporting you so you don't start to dip into that lower back. From here, we're going to work a little bit on stability now. Inhale, exhale, take your right arm forwards, turn the thumb up towards the sky. And lift your arm as high as feels comfortable without changing the position of your spine. Inhale, lower your hand down, switch sides, extend the other arm, left thumb now up to the sky, lifting it out. You're not changing anything in the position of your pelvis, your lower back, your middle and upper back. Inhale. Now it's the right leg. Can we keep everything nice and still? Extend the right leg back, activating your glutes and hamstrings. They're also really important to support your lower back. And in. And extend your left leg out nice and long. How still can you keep your body whilst you're moving your limbs? 
lower down, breathe in. Now come back, repeat the right leg, and this time we add the opposite arm. So now we're moving arm and leg together. Reach out long, and lower down. Now don't worry if your leg doesn't come up very high. I'm really more interested in your lengthening and you have that awareness of your abdominal supporting you. Lower in, inhale. Exhale, reach out. Inhale, hand and knee down. Exhale to lengthen out. The body stays as still as possible. Notice if you want to sway side to side each time you're changing your limbs. Can you minimize that? Bring it in. Here's your last one. And reaching out. Bring it in. And now take a moment to sit back to your heels. If you've got your cushion, your blanket there, rest your head on there. Allow your body a gentle stretch. Now roll yourself up and now we lie down on our tummy. So this is where the cushion or the blanket is really helpful. Place it right underneath your belly so that the edge of your support of the cushion or blanket is right in line with the crease of your hip. Okay? Lie yourself all the way down and then your hands make a pillow for your forehead to rest on. Now lengthen your tailbone towards the heels. I'm a little bit drawing my tummy in again so that I don't feel I'm sinking into the lower back. You want to lengthen your lower back. Inhale here. And then exhale. I'm reaching through the right toes. Stretch the leg away. Now to keep everything as it is, my leg is probably not going up very high. You will find the leg stays quite low. Inhale, lower your leg down. Exhale, lengthening. Lift your left leg up. So keep it low. But feel that you're squeezing your glutes, muscles around your sit bone, and you're activating your hamstrings, the back of the thighs. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, right leg. Keeping both hips level. Pubic bone is heavy on the ground. Lower. And lengthen and lift. Lower down. Good. We've got four more. Reach it away. If you need to take a pause at any time to ease your back, please do so. And lower, last two. Floating the leg up. And lower down. And the other leg floating up. And lower down. Good. Now just gently rock the hips a little bit side to side. Relax it. Now we'll bring the hands, thumb and index finger together into a diamond shape and we rest these under our forehead breathe in breathe out now once more lengthen the tailbone to the heels first so lengthen through the lower back now the shoulder blades draw back and down we reach the crown of the head forwards lifting the head and the chest gently up hold it breathe in breathe that lower back down inhaling Exhale, start with the shoulder blades, lengthening the spine. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lower down. Okay, and again, you can keep this movement really small. You might barely lift off the floor. Or if it feels good, you can come up that little bit higher. Make sure the shoulders are pulling back. And lower down. Last one here. And shoulders pulling down, elongate lift. Try and keep the natural curve in the back of your neck. So careful not to let your chin come too far forwards and lifting the head too far. And lower down. Good. Again, give your hips a little wiggle, rock them side to side. Now take your arms all the way along beside your body, palms facing up. We're going to again, always taking care of that lower back first, reach the tail away. Your tummy muscles gently engaged. Now from here, float the arms a couple inches off the floor. Now the same here. Can you draw the shoulders down? Can you reach the fingertips back? And just floating your chest and head hardly off the ground. Focus on how long can you make yourself in this position. 
and then lower slowly down with control. Inhale is to relax and prepare. Exhale, arms, shoulder blades, chest, head floating up. Feeling those shoulder blades anchoring down and releasing down. This is a brilliant exercise to strengthen your back muscles. Again, lift the arms up, shoulders, chest, head following, really lengthening and lower down. Here's your last one, inhale. Exhale, arms, shoulders, chest and head. Hold and release it down. Very nice. Put your hands under your shoulders. Push yourself all the way up and slowly, slowly, slowly stretch back into child's pose to balance it out. Release your back. Roll yourself slowly up. Very good. We're going to lie down on our backs one more time. So again, let's put that under our head. So carefully, lie yourself back down. And bring your feet in. Again, about hip distance apart. So again, just take a moment. Notice how your back is doing now. Coming back to this position. And sometimes you really notice changes and sometimes not. So just know that there's no right or wrong. And really we just need to be really patient with our bodies. So from here we're going to inhale. Exhale. Can you press your feet down? Can you squeeze your bum and lift your hips straight up? Try and make a long line. When you get to the top, lengthen your tailbone forwards so that your ribs are in and your abdominals are really strong. Yeah? So you don't go up so high that your ribs are popping out. You're staying a little bit lower to keep that rib cage to hip connection. Inhale here. Exhale, roll slowly down. On the way down, see if you can peel down through the spine. Inhale, release. Exhale, press into the feet. Use your glutes and hamstrings. Push your hips up. So your spine is in a neutral position. Hold it, inhale. As you exhale, soften through the upper back, middle back, lower back, and then your pelvis with your sacrum and tailbone. Inhale, one more here. Exhale, push into the floor. Your glutes and hamstrings supporting your pelvis and therefore supporting your lower back. Hold it. And roll slowly down. Good. Now if your back is happy with this rolling movement, we're going to do three more, but this time rolling up on the way up. If your back that's too much, you come up again straight up, peel down. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful, strong abdominals. Curl the tailbone under, rolling up. So this will be great if this feels okay on your back to articulate it and to try and mobilize it and loosen it up. Inhale, make sure the knees don't go out to the side. Mine just did. So watch out, think about your inner thighs. And then roll slowly down. Inhale, release. Two more, exhale, curling up again. We still got our glutes and hamstrings engaged. Inhale. Exhale, peel down. Last time, inhale. And exhale, rolling up. Pause here. And roll yourself slowly down. Very good. Now bending one knee into the chest, bend the other knee into the chest. Hold your knees here, inhale, and then exhale very gently, using your arms, using your hands, squeeze your knees in. Now maybe your bottom lifts a little bit off the floor, maybe not, see how it feels. Inhale, release the knees. Exhale, hugging the knees in. Inhale, releasing the knees a little bit. One more, hugging the knees in. Good. And then start to separate the knees and steer the knees around using your hands to guide them. 
Releasing in the hip joints. And go the other way. So try and relax your thighs. Legs are easy, using your arms to guide the legs. Brilliant. Let your left leg come down to the floor. Wiggle your foot slightly further away from you. Interlace your hands around the back of your leg. Inhale. Exhale. Now some stretches to finish. Extending your leg. So most likely the hamstrings have tightened up a little bit. Yeah. So the muscles tighten up to stop you from doing anything that could hurt your back further. But then if they stay tight like this and seized up like this, you get stiffer and stiffer, right? And that in return doesn't help, again, your, your back to release and to be functioning more normally. So this will be good, stretching out your legs. Hold it there for a moment. Just gently point your toes and flex. And point. And flex. Just check that your hips are nice and level and your sacrum. That big triangle bone at the base of your spine is on the floor. Yes, we don't want to be lifting our bottom up here. Bend your knee. Release your foot all the way down. Same on the other side. Interlace your hands around the back of the leg. Inhale. Exhale, stretch it out. Inhale, bend. Exhale, reach. Inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch it. Use your hands to give that little bit of resistance. One more. And stretch it out. Keep your leg long. Gently point your toes. And toes down towards your heel up. Feeling the calf stretching. And flex. And point. Bend your knee. Relax your foot down. Our final stretch will be our glute stretch. Crossing your right ankle over. Pressing your knee out to the side. Now, this is already a version of your glute stretch, so you can stay here. Or you can thread the arm through the legs and then pick up the underneath leg, drawing it in towards you. Now, if your right leg is the crossed over leg, then just check yourself. Are you leaning over to the right side? Which most likely you're not getting quite enough stretch. If you lean more to the left, you will get that really good stretch in the right outer hip. This is really good stretch to help with lower back issues. And then release. We'll change our legs over, crossing the other leg now. Press your knee away. Flex your foot. It will protect your knee. Again, maybe this for you here is just the place to stay. You can stay here or thread the arm through, picking up your underneath leg, holding to the thigh or the shin. Draw the shoulders down. Now you could also at home put your foot against a sofa or a wall. Really great then you're not using your arms so much. And then release your legs all the way down to the ground. Good. Let the feet just rest for a moment. Take a nice deep breath in here. And exhale out through the mouth. Roll yourself to the side and carefully push yourself all the way up to sitting. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you found these movements helpful. Let me know how you get on. And then if you like this kind of videos, please subscribe for more videos on my channel. Thank you so much. See you soon.